once you receive your new Zoom truck, uh, they come packaged up like this. Um, you'll have to remove the shrimp wrapping, first of all, and undo the straps, and they're ready to assemble. It's pretty simple, there's not much to it. We'll get to that in the next video. This is the finished product. After you get the machine, you'll have to assemble the upper handlebar portion. Other than that, the rest of the machine is complete. Uh, don't forget, number one, check your oil. Number two, make sure your kill switch is in the up position. So when you go to start it, it will go on first pull. To assemble your machine once you receive it and unpackage it, we just have a simple amount of tools. Uh, we have an eight millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and a 12 millimeter. You can use sockets, ratchet handle, wrenches, or you can use an impact gun if you feel confident in using that. Don't over tighten your bolt. We're gonna install the handlebars first, so we're gonna to have to remove the nuts from the bolt. You'll see the bolts are the long ones, and there are four of them all together, two on the right and two on the left. Once you remove the nuts from the machine, you can install the handlebars. The two large holes on the left, on the inside are the proper, give you the proper location. Feed the wire through your zip tie. Make sure it's to the inside. Slide it on about halfway. Apply your first one. Second one through the hole. Make sure your wire is clear and is well carried so it doesn't get pinched when you tighten the bolt. Well, next is putting the levers on. This is pretty simple. They're already attached to the cables. So we just have to fasten them to the bar. Put them in the upright position toward the bar. Set your cap at about seven to seven and a half inches. Install the bottom of the lever. Hand start your screws, or in this case, bolts. And you're done. The throttle installation is easy. Put your finger on the end of the bolt so it doesn't fall out and remove, remove the bolt. Apply to the first hole. Tighten the bolt and you're done. Double check your bolts, make sure they're to a good tight snug position. Next step is starting the machine. First thing you'll have to do is turn on the gas. Lift the machine up. You'll see the decal here for the gasoline. This forward position is off, toward the engine is on. Counterclockwise, push the lever to its on position. Next, set the machine down. Make sure your kill switch is in the up position. Very important. Open the bin and check your oil level. Unthread and remove the dipstick. Check the level. You can see clearly the marks here. The top of the marks are where the oil should be. After you tighten your dipstick, come around to the front of the machine. Make sure your gas tank is filled and you're ready to go to the next step. Before you start your machine, double check to make sure the kill switch is in the upper position. Number two, make sure your machine's in neutral. Number three, start choke position forward on the lever. There's your indicators there for start, slow, fast, and stop. Okay, down on the machine, your pull starter is here. And up top, once the machine is running, we have the engagement lever here for brake is full down, up is release the brake and clutch all the way in to drive the machine forward. On the right hand side, we have the bin release. 